What's up guys? It's your girl Riva and I am back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Riva. It's very nice to meet you. Um, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And as I always say, make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. It doesn't matter how you feel about this video. We all want to talk about it. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. Um, and we are back with another Lapeef featuring Crimson Cure. Um, you guys had rave reviews about the last one that I posted. And I'm really, really interested in watching this video uh, because it looks like Anton, based on the title, as you guys know, I don't watch the videos before I uh, react to them in front of you guys, but it looks like Anton has posed the question asking all of these women on the panel if they are a modern woman. So I do want to go ahead and jump right into the vid video as well as I'm going to answer this question as well. You know, I'm I'm here like as if I'm on the panel with them. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to take a turn and answer that question as well. And welcome to La Peep Let's Talk, the greatest show ever. Make sure you guys get them likes up. Also subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all the super chats coming in. Wasn't able to acknowledge all of them. Someone popped off the screen, but appreciate you, Big Bad Bull. Also appreciate you, TJ. We open up the phone lines after this last topic. So, uh, not phone lines, but open up the live stream. The link will be in the description. Just refresh your browsers. I'm also toss a link in the chat. So, make sure you guys link P's and Q's and get ready because it'll be opening up real soon. Again, get them likes up. Moving on to our last topic, which is... Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm put it on the queue. I'm reading to you guys. Are traditional women more likely to marry younger before modern women, and why? Are traditional women more likely to marry younger before modern women, and why? Start with you, Amira. So I, uh, this has been a topic like where they say that uh, if you are a modern woman, but if you're a modern woman. One of the signs of being a modern woman is having um, a grandioso education, a career, and marrying very late. So I guess I would have to agree with that, yes, that for a traditional woman, the purpose is to get married. Like, from li honey, <laughs> from little, we think like, oh, I need to get married. I need to marry, marry, marry fast. So, yes. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. Not not being called out on the show by your husband. Not that. <laughs> Hi. All right. I'm gonna go with you, Rilla. Are traditional women more likely to marry younger before martyr women and why? I don't know um if there are stats, data, statistics, whatever on, on this, but I think to the observable eye, um the answer would be yeah, traditional women yeah. tend to marry younger. Um, in addition uh, to what Amira was saying, I think that, you know, traditional women tend to seek out men um, who will lead and who have vision and naturally align themselves with the men who do that. Um, and I think also, you know, like when you think about, um, like when I think about my grandma or my mom and that generation, um, they were brought up like, you know, the, the whole goal was to get a husband. You know, the whole goal was to settle down, raise right. a family, so on and so forth. And so um, I just know that we don't see that play out as much today because I think people have been, I think women have been programmed like, yeah, go out here, get a job, live your best life, hot girl, some of this, that, and the third with people. And what people are finding out is that it's just not, it's not working in their favor. I'm going to agree with Amira and Rilla and say that, yes, traditional women do get married younger um, before modern women because, as he said, I feel I feel as though, and I, and I also have seen, I've literally seen it happen where um, mothers who are raising their daughters to be traditional women literally are raising them to be somebody's wife. Like, that's one of the most important goals for that, that uh, traditional woman growing up is to be somebody's wife. So... Um, I think when it comes to modern women, you know, the, their mothers are more teaching them like, you know, be independent. You don't need a man. Don't be like me. Da, 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 da. So I think that, yes, they definitely 
um, are more likely to get married before modern women? I got I got a couple questions. My fir- if if I can, if I may. Well, I got a question for you. My first question. First question is, um, you know, I don't want to get into the details of your relationship. So let's just say hypothetically, you are a single man today. Would you date a modern woman? Mm. Good question. Um, knowing what I know now, probably. No, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't date her. I probably would date. I probably would entertain the idea because I think, you know, realistically, dog, um, it's not a ton of traditional women out here. So you're saying I'm at the age that I'm at now. I've been through my life experiences and I know what I know. Mm-hmm. We're not going back to when I was younger. And you're single. Hypothetically, if you're single. Yes. You know everything you know. You're single. You're rocking. Would you date a modern woman today? Mm. Honestly. I probably would date her. That's honest. That's what I, what, what, what I, That's honest. I, yeah, I would date her. Okay. okay. And then my second, my follow-up question, if I may, is to the ladies. Um, what do you, what would you identify as? Like, if you had to identify yourself as either traditional or modern or some hybrid, and then what percentage, if you are some some hybrid, if you would identify yourself What percentage would you say, just, you know, not too deep, would you say you're more modern versus more traditional? I'm going to go first because I don't want it to seem like my answers are influenced by anyone else. But I'm going to say that I would consider myself to be like a new age traditional woman. So, um... What I mean by that is, like, I personally um, believe that the man is the head. He's the leader. Um, You know, you're supposed to be cooperative, submissive to your man. He has a final say in the household. If it's no, it's no. Um, It doesn't mean that I don't talk. It doesn't mean that I don't express myself. But it does mean that I respect my man to the utmost, um, as well as, I voice my opinion, you know, that's why I would say maybe a new age, because I do voice my opinion respectfully, though. I do voice my opinion. I will say what I feel, you know, needs to be said. I will say, you know, if I think it's a good idea or if I, if I don't. Um, but, you know, still like cooking dinner, I'm going to serve my man his plate first before myself. I don't have a problem, you know, doing all of the, you know, wifely duties or whatever. Um which and it doesn't mean that a man is not going to do those things as well, but I'm just saying. So I would say that I'm a new age traditional woman. And the reason why I even put the new age on it is just because of the fact that like I live in a different time than where like my grandmother lived in and like most traditional women lived in. So there's certain things that like I would do that they probably would not do when it comes to like, um, I mean, just a random examples like, you know, For me, sometimes, you know, if I am doing something else or, like, busy with, like, clients or whatever the case is and I can't, like, cook dinner, it doesn't mean that, like, we're not going to eat. I might have to grab something. Whereas I know, like, you know, complete traditional women are not doing that. Like, they would, you know, come cook and all that kind of stuff like every single day where sometimes like I might be like hey like you know let's buy food out or whatever they, like that's how I would be so um that's how I would describe myself like a new age traditional woman but like definitely like this is I, I would say about 85 to 90 percent traditional um maybe maybe 80 80 85 percent traditional I would say that's me being honest Anybody can go. Anton, can you differentiate? Can you just give your views of what modern and traditional? Well, are? I don't, don't want to. I wanted to ask the question first because I wanted I wanted you guys to answer based off of what you would right. identify as traditional or modern, not based off of what you you would look for me to identify it as. Right. I don't want. I, I don't want you to evaluate it based off of what I would say. I wanted to just go based off of what y'all think. Right, right off the bat. After right. after Mary goes, I will explain to you why I asked you to do that. Thank you, Kay. Um, I would say 90, 
I would say maybe 85% tradition, traditional as me, and 15 modern. Twinsies! <laughs> I would say that just because. I, I definitely could have guessed that we would have been in the same range based off of how she articulates herself and based off of her views. So that's kind of really funny. I'm always in dresses. I'm I'm very submissive. I marry early. That was very important to me was marrying and not, you know, and I'm very family oriented. Um, the 15% modern would be because I went to school. I went to college. I, I'm interested in law and I'm interested in politics. So I do like to think a lot, which is kind of like not typical. And that's not very traditional of me to be that interested in politics and so on so that's my modern side is like um, I wear hoodies sometimes like you know and um, and I'm into more mental things um, that thinking so I love that she said something about clothes because that just goes back to like her culture so, you know, she we can only identify what we consider traditional, right, based off of, like, our lifestyles and, like, what we've seen and how we've grown up. So I like that she, you know, for her culture and, like, you know, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what her background is, but the fact that she points it out clothing because, um, you know, wherever, however she's cultured and wherever her family is from, like, clothing is really important when you're considering yourself to be a traditional woman. So I love that she absolutely said that. Okay, Clark, Crimson, anybody else want to jump in there? I mean, if y'all don't want to answer it. I'm, I thought Kay was going to go. I'm trying to force y'all, but just. I'm definitely just traditional, mm -hmm. like extremely so. So I, I would not be considered a, a modern woman at all. But I think also, um, I think there are some stereotypes that go along with saying that you're traditional. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I fit those stereotypes either. Mm -hmm. Because I think sometimes a stereotype, when we say traditional woman, is some type of woman that can't think. She doesn't have a brain. And I think, I think, um, I think, <laughs> I love Crimson. I love Crimson. I think Crimson just doesn't want to associate herself with a modern woman at all. So she doesn't want to say any percentage or anything like that. But so far, what she's saying about like the thinking is almost uh, mirrored to kind of like what Amira was saying. So that would make her a little bit more edgy than a not like a old school traditional woman. So technically, it would be still like a percentage wise. But I understand what she's saying because she doesn't associate herself at all with like the modern woman because she's completely different. So I, but I understand what she's saying. She doesn't think about anything, which is certainly not me. <laughs> My brain doesn't doesn't shut off. <laughs> I have a hard time sleeping sometimes because it won't stop. So, you know, I just wanted to sort of put that out there that if a woman does identify as a traditional woman, mm -hmm. that that does not also include that she has to be um, subjected to the stereotype that she's some sort of automaton or she's got to be some type of step. I think she said she's Stepford wife. On this episode. But I'm sad because I thought that Kay and Courtney were going to answer. I would have loved to know their answers. I can kind of assume what their answers would be. Um, but I would have loved to know their answers. But make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel. Um, and make sure that you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. What I really want to know is from you guys is, same question. If you're single, um, based on society and dating right now, would you date a modern woman? Um, I love that Rilla, Rilla owned up to it and said it straight up like, yeah, I would date one. I love that because some people will get on here and lie. <laughs> You know, some people get on here and straight up lie. But would you, would you, or would you, um, do you feel like there's a, a possibility that you can get with a woman who um, has, like, maybe modern, uh, like, a modern mindset and that you can, like, you and her can grow together and you can, you know, kind of form your own situation that makes her a little bit more traditional? Um, 
And if you're a woman, I definitely want to know, what do you consider yourself as? Do you consider yourself traditional? Do you consider yourself a modern woman? What's your percentage ratio? Let me know what you guys really think. I would, I would really, really love to know, genuinely. Um, but make sure, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. Um, I love you guys so very, very much. You guys know that I mean that from my heart. I genuinely do. Um, I thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Love you.